First, I just made a box room, and on one of the walls, I am taking white paint. This is the Valspar white paint. It's actually a color sample you'd put on your walls. It's really nice because it's really nice and thick, and if you, whenever I put pencil accidentally on it or if I'm trying to draw something, it's really nice because you can erase it. So I'm just taking a brush and you want to paint the whole wall this color. And then I'm taking these three colors. This is a nice kind of mint blue called 444 Patina. And then this is a magenta, 412 magenta, and pure gold. And then I'm just putting that on a plate, or I have this little tray that I put it on. And I like doing a color at a time, putting a little bit. And I have this round sponge. I like it because it makes a perfect circle. You could like take a makeup sponge or whatever and cut a circle and use that. That would probably do the same thing. Put a little bit on your sponge and then just do it in a pattern. And we did it in a die. So we did two blue, two uh, magenta, and then a gold in the middle. And you want to do that all over. So it's five circles. So it's like a five on a dice. And then I just used a brush to sort of touch it up and take out some of the bubbles that were in it. And then I just did it all over to match her, her stockings. And I, this is how it looks like. And that's how you can see kind of the dice pattern we did. And then I have this really cool paper that I found. And I'm just flipping it over to the other wall. And that's going to be the top portion of the wall. It's two sheets. And then for the bottom half, I'm going to be using this glitter paper that I used in CA Cupid's bed. And then I just glued that on there. And I cut off some of the excess as well. And you can see how it looks like. And then for the bottom, like I said, I'm using the glitter. But before you put that on there, you want to make sure you paint your floor white also so that you don't get white on your paper. <laughs> By taking a piece of cardboard, you're going to want to trace a bunch of those squares all over. And you're going to want to use your gold paint and do every other one, like how it looks now. I accidentally did the pattern on each side. That's how I started it. So I kind of screwed up the pattern. So in the middle, there's like two squares. But it's okay. And then I'm taking the sparkly paper that actually surprisingly matches the top of her dress. And then I'm just going to measuring how much I need for the bottom portion of the wall. And I think it's three inches about three inches and then you want to flip over your page and mark it and then I just trace the line going across and then you want to take your scissors and cut that out And then just take your hot glue and glue that on the wall. And for the other side, I had to use two strips. The other side was actually too short. <laughs> I didn't have enough. So you could totally make it completely the same height. I just didn't have enough paper. But this is what it looks like. <laughs> and we're going to end up covering that with this silvery ribbon. And if, again, if you haven't noticed, I'm using a bunch of different patterns because it just makes it more... Madeline Hatter. And then I just glued that all the way across. And this is what it looks like. And then I'm actually going to be taking a clock. This is the, it was a clock that didn't have a back with the paint in hands. It was just that with the hands and stuff. So I am just tracing a circle and that's going to be big enough to fit the base for the hands. You could paint on the numbers, but I just had that. And then just taking a something pointy, either scissors or whatever, poking the hole through the cardboard.
and then I'm just making sure that it's big enough to fit the piece without the hands. I had to take off the hands, so. You can find a clock at Hobby Lobby if um, you can't, don't have any around your house, or even Goodwill, just for even cheaper. And then I'm just pressing that back there to make sure that it'll fit. That's wide enough. And then I'm just going to take this, the hand part, you could, like I said, you could probably paint it, and I'm just going to glue it on. I'm gluing on the parts that have the numbers and also the center. And then just sticking it, making sure that your 12 is at the top and your 6 is at the bottom and making sure that center with your hole you just made. And then I put on the hands and stick, put a battery in the back and it actually works. I'm actually really surprised. And then you know me, I have to put my box art on there. So I'm just putting the Madeline Hatter on one side with the hat, it's going to be on top of the M. And her little saying, Mischief and Madness, is going to be on the, to the right. And the daughter of the Mad Hatter I put underneath the clock. This is what it looks like. And then we actually put the little potion thing, I thought that's kind of cute, we put it underneath the mischief and madness. And this is it. I really like the room, I think it's so kooky and cool. I probably, I really like the room. Um, and so, yeah. Dong, dong.